This was actually a video that we showed of uh, transmural resection of endometriosis of the rectum, and um, but we've been uh, developing uh, a, a slightly less invasive uh, a technique for removal of transmural bowel nodules. So instead of uh, doing a uh, bowel resection, we've been uh, offering patients uh, a slightly less invasive approach where we can excise the nodule directly from the bowel and then repair the bowel. Uh, because a lot of these patients are young uh, women that um, may be at a higher risk for permanent uh, nerve damage or other functional issues if you have a bowel resection. Uh, so we're trying to solve the issue with the endometriosis and associated symptoms without creating new problems for them. A bowel endometriosis is a, it's a fairly common finding in women with endometriosis. It's about 5% uh, of women that have endometriosis have bowel involvement. And um, I, I think that while uh, a generalist uh, or an OBGYN specialist can take care of many of these patients, uh, the patients that have very large uh, pathology or deeply infiltrated nodule are probably better uh, served by having a high volume surgeon take care of their surgery. Um, but I think, uh, you know, increased recognition of different treatment options surgically, um, I think is important for, for uh, uh, all OBGYNs in practice to know about. What is maybe somewhat surprising is that we are not using uh, any mechanical bowel preparation. Uh, the patient do get antibiotics, um, but with very uh, careful meticulous suturing of the bowel, even if we enter the bowel without any bowel preparation, uh, those patients tend to do quite well, uh, there, and we have not had any issues with uh, infections. We have to do more long-term research to follow up on those patients um, uh, several years after surgery um, because um, even if they do well initially for a year or two, um, I think it's more meaningful to know how they're doing five or ten years later. So that's the long-term uh, follow-up that we need to do over the next few years.